Okay, it's January 30th, 2020, 8.52 in the morning. And last night I found a bunch of stuff out of place. And I, I moved it off onto my desktop and I can't remember exactly how the configuration was. But it seems like this picture of the Mona Lisa. And what's this? No, this is a different one. Um, a picture of my cat, Roxy, and I can't recall the other thing. There was another, it seems like there was a few different things that were all in this directory. <sighs> Maybe something to do with Sunny Rojas. It seems like they were linked to Sunny Rojas. Maybe it was in one of the screenshots from his. I kind of, last night, I just not really, I just kind of instinctively started to sort things out. And I mean, I knew that things were mixed up probably for a reason, but I didn't keep them the way they were exactly. Then I found, so then I did a search on Sunny because I had some screenshots of Sunny's Facebook page. And when I did that, I found one of Sunny's picture in a directory marked obituaries and the picture that I found was the Facebook banner this page here so this is what his avatar is uh, here's the exact yeah that's not it Where is it? Here, this is his avatar. Um, so this was associated, his, his stuff was associated with Mona Lisa and my cat. So that, well, there, first of all, <clears throat> I've been looking at Google Maps and photographs showing drone activity, and sometimes you see these dark smudges on the lens. It seems like it's indicative of something um, bad going on. And usually it seems like these dark smudges are associated with the obvious drone trails in the sky. And a lot of times, sometimes they seem to follow the lens for a period of time, but sometimes they're just over one or two pictures. Anyway, then I had a dream where I saw shapes like the, you know, these the smudges sort of look like the smudges on this body of this character. So I did a search on Mona Lisa and I came up with these um, entry January 5th, 6th dreams has the word Mona Lisa in it. Before I look at the dream specifically I'm just going to mention that the Mona Lisa painting is featured heavily in this video for Ape Shit by the Carters. It's, it's actually Ape S star star t two stars like the twins but what what letters are missing what do they represent it's h i h stands for horse financier and i for i like the eye in the sky so this is the part that seems i mean it's probably relevant before and after this as well but this is catching my attention because I had a dream of something triangular shaped just recently and it's linking in with I think dental work again um, so view from like a top view of a school auditorium stage looks like this so the curtains so it'd be like red curtains in an auditorium parted like this no one is on stage um, I get an image of Rain the Hermit Crab that died climbing in a tree. So this is a, maybe a link to trees, or timber, or maybe trees. Because another thing I haven't actually talked about much is there's a lot of new trees getting por planted in Portland. And there's so much. And it's not just, um, it's both people going out when they do their big yard work renovations that have been going on. And, and some really expensive trees showing up in people's, you know, they leave the price tags on you know, $200 here, $200 there for small trees that they're planting. 
or it's also the city of Portland is has a program where they plant native trees um, on people's property if they want them to. Uh, it's just to try to get native trees going. But I suspect that both of those programs are being funded through this system here, especially since they both sort of seem to have exploded about the same time, both um, the trees coming from the city of Portland and people planting trees that they bought at a nursery. Anyway, I don't know. But the idea of my crab climbing in the tree, then... Then I say somehow these, I'm um, kind of, this is, these are out of sequence, but somehow the shape is linked to me and Archie chewing gum. No, finding gum smashed in something maybe on the ground. So somehow that shape I said was linked to um, me and Archie finding something smashed on the ground. And this is back on January 5th. Yesterday I fell asleep. And I got this idea of it was I say something sending out some something sent up like a ping relates to radio frequencies into tooth cavity. I write missing tooth, so it has something to do with my missing tooth. Before this idea, idea of peeling skin off the feet, but this is um, I was having trouble kind of figuring out. It seemed like it was coming from something, but it seemed like it was also going up inside of a cavity, like a, I mean. Uh, um, a triangle shaped space but it also kind of seemed like it was coming up from a triangle shape so um and I just I felt instinctively that it was linked to the tooth that had been pulled and then the song crystal ship came to me and so by the song I'd already established that you know I think crystal ship is about um implants and dental work and so if the song crystal ship all of a sudden comes to me after this like to me that confirms that suspicion and in fact right after this I started to feel um effects around the tooth that's been pulled so I've been trying to figure out what's going on why am I I mean I know I'm still feeling something and it's not even that I'm still feeling something I feel like I, I was that part of my body was okay for a period of time after the tooth had been pulled. And now I feel that it's not okay anymore. And the doctor told me, you know, we heal in two weeks, right? It's been, this tooth was pulled on the 10th of January and it's now the 30th of January. So we should be pretty close to healed. But what has happened is that I feel like there's a hard lump on the left side of my gum where the tooth was pulled. And I even mentioned to that dentist, I knew that there was a chance that he could pull the tooth and stick an implant in there. Um, and I sort of mentioned to him, you know, my concerns. And one of the concerns being, I don't want any more of this hardware in my body, but you know, what are they going to do? I've made my concerns. I mean, nobody does want this stuff, but um, I explicitly said I didn't. And, but I have a feeling that something's gone in there. I heard a double knock. Maybe not. That's weird because I feel a hard lump on the left side of my gum. There's something, there's something hard. So the other possibility is that it's a triangulation. So maybe that's why this is a triangle. Uh, that other types of implants that are in my mouth, including implants that are in fillings and implants that are stuck into my soft tissues, of which there are, I already know that there are. I know that there's implants in my throat and I know there's implants in my gums because they've been activated so that I could feel them, or at least the, the soft tissues on my mouth. And there's implants in my fillings so that they're doing a triangulation process and maybe they're still attacking. I had the sense that they were still attacking the same area they've been attacking before, which was around my sinus. But it's not just there because, and I also felt an implant raised last night on this side in the back of my head. So last time that that's happened, when that's happened in the past, it means there's some sort of activity going on in that area. So this was an implant that's on my scalp, just beneath my cranium, you know, ridge on the back between my, my you know, head and my neck. 
um, that was activated just so that I could feel it, you know, it was, I could feel it with my fingers and that was temporary thing. And that happens every once in a while. And so, but I think that it's done sometimes to let me know that something's going on back there. So, um, it seems like these two things might be related, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, and you know, it's like, what are they trying to do to me? And I woke up this morning, you know, when I woke up this morning, um, and not, it was like two in the morning. I felt like my head had been beamed and, um, I got up cause I just don't like, you know, it's like, I'm, I was, I was kind of felt okay the night before, you know, it's not, I don't think I'm ever entirely free of different types of attacks, but some of the attacks are more worrying than others. Attacks on my heart and attacks on my head are, are two attacks that I'm not, I'm really concerned about, but there's other places too, but you know, gosh, so then um, two hands holding each other detached from arms. And so that then I see, this is again back in January 5th and 6th, this five on its side, a 30, an A pointing down into the right, word firecracker, word, word elephant, and then these shapes, which I later identified as being linked to Sonny's page. So there's another evidence that Sonny, Sonny apparently is important. And also, um, oh, I remember, did I say that my cat, yeah, I said my cat was in that fold folder. So there might be some designs on my cat. Either my cat's being attacked or is going to be attacked. Or maybe they're even planning to kill my cat. Because that's what they did to this hermit crab. My, you know, and this is getting done to me so much. And it's so, you know, awful. That you, you know, but, um, so then I see... Colors bright pink and bright baby blue. Which is interesting because I was kind of thinking about those colors yesterday. I didn't realize that I had them in the stream. Um, being kind of deco, art deco colors. I got Groove and Grover and Money a dollar sign. Idea of 38 and a memory I can't quite reach. Maybe a dream idea of basketball idea of it's about trying to stop people or someone from attacking me feeling like I had it worked out but it may not be worked out um, I write that my chest feels hot this was this was before um, right you know I ended up going to the emergency room because of all these attacks to my chest on the 9th so this was between the 5th and the 6th um, Looks like swirly rainbow colors, like maybe clouds. Then I get the phrase, I'm in my prime optimist. To me, that's another likely reference to Sunny. That's from Nicki Minaj's Barbie Tings. The reason why I think that's a, a link to Sunny is because it's kind of a, um, it's like a fighter robot character. And Sunny has this anime character on his um, avatar. Optimus Prime, Transformers, fictional character, synergistic blend of biological evolution and technological engineering. It's kind of the same idea as the six million dollar man and it really has to do with some people who are implanted. It's kind of inspired those two things are inspired by each other but this this probably from sort of Sonny's era as well I would think I'm not sure when it came out so yeah it looks like it's been around for a while since the 80s even I don't know if this is part of this is some my, something different but it's a similar idea transformation the idea of transforming, which is basically, you know, it's like the idea of being a hidden warrior transforming into something else. So this, the, the robotic thing and then the transformational thing, and it's all linked to, I think, Monarch and MK Ultra and all of that kind of stuff. I don't know how folks, I don't know how this all happened. 
I don't know how people got involved in this. I don't know how they see themselves. I don't know what they see their role is or their goal is. I really don't. Um, 